I sat in my room and get her some of the least talked about tips and tricks that I learned in my three year blender journey. And now I will be sharing them with you. Number one is utilizing the grease pencil. You have already seen the grease pencil getting used for making tutorials and demonstrating stuff. But another great use for the grease pencil is previous. Let's say I have a rough block out of my scene. Now what I can do is that I can use the grease pencil to add any ideas or props right into my scene. And this will accelerate my process. Cause now I have everything that I want to make and do right in front of my eyes. The next tip is related to rendering. And that is rendering your projects in 4K and then shrinking them down to 1080. Now you may be like, Martin, that sounds dumb as fuck. And you are right, it does sound dumb, but it's actually something used by a lot of artists. And here's why they do it. We can all agree that a 4K image has more detail than a 1080 image. But the thing is that you can't upload your 4K render to social media, because your file size will be large, and that triggers the algorithm to compress your render to the desired file size, which will make you end up with a blurry mess. On the other hand, uploading a 1080 render is also not an option because we don't get the same amount of detail that we want. So the solution is to render our project in 4K and then export it as 1080. And if you still think that doesn't work, here's a side-by-side -side test. The next tip that I can give you is to save your ideas. There used to be countless times when I had an idea in the past and I just couldn't remember it. And that was the moment where I decided that I was going to write down every single idea that I got into a text document. So whenever I'm done with one artwork, I don't have to think on what I want to do next. All I have to do is open up that same text file and browse through all that catalog of ideas that I wrote down in the past. The fourth tip is really important, and that is to not limit yourself. Let me explain it with an example. I was working on this render when I realized that these three holes on this bench are not as visible as I wanted them to be. So what I did was that I added a black plane and put it in the back of my model which gave these holes more depth. Now here's the thing, in real life would there actually be a black plane on the back of a bench? Probably not. Would anyone notice that you added a black plane on the back of your bench? Also not. But did it improve the render? Yes. So if you find yourself in a situation where bending the rules can improve your render, don't hesitate to do so. The only scenario where this doesn't apply is when your sole purpose is photorealism. In that case, play by the rules. And finally, for my last tip, take a break before uploading your work. Let me tell you why. When you're at the finishing steps of your work, you are agitated and frustrated. This leads to you not being able to observe your work. So what happens is that you upload your work and then a couple of hours or maybe days later, you sort of pick on every single problem that you could have fixed. So that's why I always take a break or even sleep and then come and take a last look at my work. If I picked on something, I fix it and if everything was fine, I'll upload it. And that's all I got for now. Make sure to follow my Instagram. And with that, thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.